Hi everyone, my name is Ekat and in this video I'm sharing with you my favorite Sharpie routine. Sharpie marker routine It's heavily inspired by Tom Mullica's work with cigarette magic and also there's a few items in multi-phase approach that is going to be interesting here. I think for you it's something that I've incorporated in my lectures. I'll share, you, um, share with you some footage, live performances of that. You don't have to buy all the items I'm going to go over right now to make this happen. You can only stick to the first phase if you wanted to, but I really think it's worth to invest and equip yourself with the entire routine. I'd be very curious in the comments below who will be that passionate to get all the items to make it happen. All right, item number one that you'll need is a vanishing Sharpie. I'll provide you with a couple links where you can still get this vanishing Sharpie. In a nutshell, that's the Sharpie I use to perform with. But alternatively, if you don't get this, just get a regular marker and remove the cap and leave it to dry overnight so that there is no ink action for what you're about to do. The Sharpie should not be with ink, okay? That's item number two, up uh, uh, number one. <laughs> number two is Magneto. I haven't reviewed this at all because I didn't wanna say how much I love this, but I really love this. So now you know, I really like Magneto. Um, it's the cap. You'll see at the end how I use it as my very, very last phase. So that is on me right now. You'll need to borrow a coin, a ring. Um, you'll need to borrow a cocktail napkin. And the last thing you might need to buy is the mist watch. All right, so we are on right now. This is good to go. And I can take you through the routine right now. Watch is ready to go. Magneto is ready to go in my right pocket. I have a cocktail napkin on me right now. And uh, it's gonna be difficult to do the last phase with Magneto because there's, there's like grass in the forest. Um, but we'll find a surface where I can demo this for you. So start with either your regular Sharpie marker or your vanishing Sharpie marker and we're good to go. Remember, this is the ungimmicked part. This is the gimmicked part, but this is how I approach this. So I say, all right, I wanna show you something and I'll, I'll teach it to you afterwards. You take the cap out, so you make a fist, close it and watch. Let's use the Sharpie as um, a magic wand. Let's do it. One, two, three. It's still there. Hang on. <laughs> And then you can show that it's behind the ear. Okay, so you can show, in my case, it's stuck my hair. And you do this one more time, okay? Really pay attention. You saw what I did there, it's called misdirection. Okay, one, two, three. This time it worked, isn't that cool? But I told you we would vanish the entire Sharpie. And so, so this is phase one. Phase one is, and that's purely Tom Mullica, right? With a cigarette and the, the matchbox. You have the cap. I'm gonna just go back to finding that cap, which is in my pocket right now, with full of keys. There it is. Take off the cap. I sometimes even say, you know, before you learn this trick, because they're gonna, you know, they're gonna sense that if I had this with ink, it's gonna be full of ink. So I sometimes I just even start, you know, you have the Sharpie marker, you dry it out before you do this. And you see, it's a very, it's another convincer I find of the vanishing Sharpie because this, this is the, the hard part. Anyway, we'll, we'll get to the, to the gimmick ability of this vanishing Sharpie, but you do this, obviously on the off beat, you're going to put it behind your ear. You know, you, you do some best acting. And then when you turn, your body's blocking whatever you're doing. So I could have ditched this Sharpie into this pocket or into my jacket pocket. Let's say I'm gonna go for my uh, shirt pocket this time. So you can see that I have a million years to do that because, you know, I'm explaining where it's coming from and then I come back with my fist closed. There's nothing inside, I already ditched the cap. It's conditioning, you do the same thing and it's gone. Perfect. And now you've sort of explained to them the first part and then there's the magic effect to your audience because you didn't explain the second part. Now, 
as I move into the next stages, I end up explaining where the cap went, which is a little bit controversial, but I think my audience likes it. And I'll explain why it's a little bit controversial. Okay, so we've done that part. You still have the Sharpie. And this is a vanishing Sharpie, so I borrow a cocktail napkin. I have it right here. I like the, the really small, either coffee or, you know, cocktail marker size. And this is why I like to use smoke with napkins. Smoke will really end up wrapping itself in the napkin. They see it and they feel some weight as they hold it. Okay. So maybe, maybe you could reach. What do you think? You think you can reach to grab it? Let's try it. Oh, uh, no. Okay. <laughs> so you have this. You ask them to hold on to it, they can feel the weight, and then it's just a really beautiful vanish you can let go. And this goes south to your pocket, and then you're done. Outside, maybe the smoke doesn't show as well, but as it wraps, it's just a really nice effect. So now you essentially got rid of the cap, got rid of the Sharpie, because the vanishing Sharpie, that's phase two. You can go into phase three with this. Um, I, I share that, you know, when I was showing them where the marker went, I actually ditched the cap into my pocket. And here is the reason I say this. I've just swapped that first cap I ditched for the gimmick cap of Magneto. So now I have time to borrow a ring, to borrow a coin. I just turn it on the Magneto. We, again, don't have a surface, so maybe, maybe I can use this. All right, this is a very fragile position. You can keep filming that. I'm gonna back up for a second. So you don't think there's any way I'm doing anything. I'm just gonna create a bit of heat here. There it is. And that would be normally under a glass and that's you know just remove this and then they get to examine the ring or whatever they need to examine so if we go back up as we wrap this video don't forget i'm going to show you some live performances of what this looks like also big congrats to kyle for winning cards from my previous contest thank you so much for watching for subscribing for liking for commenting appreciate you guys and i'll see you in the next one You have a coin. Half dollar? Is that a European thing? To, yeah, no. <laughs> come up, Michael's turn, come up. It's a party here. Okay, before we go into the, the coin thing, I have a whole thing that I want. So, another tutorial for you guys. Thank you, Michael. I just, it's just a big party up here. <laughs> I have more cookies later. <laughs> okay, oh, it might be too, stick it. It might be too big, but we'll see. We have a quarter too. Okay, but here's the trick. If you have a Sharpie or another marker, you guys use these, right? Okay, maybe you can try with that one. Perfect. So, Michael, you keep me honest, okay? So, this is a tutorial. <laughs> you have the cap, right? And you go like this, and it really happens so quickly. Michael, you were supposed to pay attention, okay? <laughs> No, but for real, did you get it? Did you get that trick? Oh, I'm so sorry, you will have marker in your face. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> don't, don't do it for real. Mine, mine doesn't write anymore. Okay. Ooh, some people thought I was doing dangerous stuff. Okay, <laughs> Michael, watch. One, two, three. It's gone. Did you see it? No, it's in my pocket. Guys, I had a million years like to put it in my... So, tutorial, right? To get... Do you need a quicker tutorial for this? So basically, when I'm pretending to do this, I stick it here, right? Then, like, moment of, like, then it's here. If you have hair, it's actually harder to do this. It should be, yeah, don't worry about it, don't worry, don't, don't worry about it. So, so that's cool. So then, when everyone's kind of relaxed, I take the cap and I put it in my pocket, right? And then I come back holding nothing, yeah? And then... But I haven't vanished the markers, so you guys are upset. Let's do it for real, Michael. Yeah? 
I have a napkin. You probably guys have napkins too here, but it just happens I have one. <laughs> so Michael, you're going to pinch the top, and I'm going to place the marker, and you can feel the weight of the marker, yes? One, two, three. <laughs> More paper. There we go. Michael, stay here. Okay, I vanished the thing and I still have a cap, but the cap could be useful. So, I don't know if this will work though. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Um, Jeremy, is, you think this can balance? Can you try it? Can you try balancing it? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'm not, no, no, no. This is, do you have the overhead cam or which one do we need to see this? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, come on. Do it again. I trust you can do it. I can hold it for you. I've never done it. Michael, this is your half dollar. All right. This is for all the coin magicians. This is super difficult. Uh, but you guys, do you like um, Iron Man? Just put your hand like this. Three, two, one, just force, force, yes. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Well, I'm going to give it back to you. And um, you can keep the marker if you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I will be with you. I think it's going to be easier if, I, if you connect with me and we do this in person. We try those moves. I'm just so happy that I was able to share this part of magic with you guys. You are the best. You guys, please come see me afterwards. And thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much. <laughs>